Right, in this example, what we're going to look at is a small company and they are going to be, they've got a place has come uh, vacant in the company and they need to employ somebody new. And in the job advert, they're going to say on average what the annual salary would be. Now these are the current annual salaries of the five people that work in this company. So you might think that, well, £18,000 might be for someone who is uh, uh, temporary, or they might be in training, while the £100,000 uh, person here may well be the owner of the company, or the director of the company, okay, and therefore takes the most earnings. So these are the annual wages of these five people. So, we're going to look at the mean, median and mode of these five. So, first of all, the mean. So we're going to have to add them all up and divide by how many there are. So we've got 185,000 between them, and then you're going to divide that by 5, okay? And that would be £37,000 for the mean. Then we have the median. Now I've written them in order, okay, to easily see that the median for the middle would be £22,000. And then finally, the mode. Well, it turns out that no one is currently on the same salary, so there is no mode. So then if we were asked which average would you use to um, promote this vacancy in the company, um, well, First of all, there is no mode, okay? So we cannot use the mode as a good measure here. Um, depending on certain people's contracts um, and what responsibilities they have, it may well be that not everyone is on uh, similar wages in a company, okay? So that, that could be quite common, depending on when they joined and what they're doing, what their job role is. We've got the mean, which is £37,000. Now, if you were saying that on average, in this company, people earned £37,000, that would be a little unfair, seeing as four people earn substantially less than £37,000. So, this would certainly be a misleading figure to use, and it has been skewed by this hundred thousand pounds. The hundred thousand has made the mean larger, okay? So really what we've got left is the median. Now the median seems like a very fair wage or on average to put in. Because it is the middle ground, this is the middle person in the company, and the other amounts are reasonably either side of it. Okay, you just have this £100,000, which is, you know, sticking out like a sore thumb. So, in this case, it is the median, rather than the mean or the mode, that would probably be best as an average to use.